What is going on boys? A little impromptu video because mm -hmm. I got a really cool package today. I'm at home if you can't tell. I'm not at the shop right now. Just off work. We got something really cool and I could not wait to get to the shop this weekend to show you guys, but I'll just show you now. Eh? 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 We got a Honda S300 baby. We are finally gonna be tuned. So, we have the S300 V3 right here. Sick, this is my first Honda ever. You may be asking yourself, do I know what I'm doing with this thing? Of course I don't. We're gonna figure it out. And then I sent them my P06 as a core because I need my P75 for the B18 non VTEC that we still have. If you guys remember, we took that out of the EG. And then I wanted to keep the stock P30 B16 ECU. Um, so I sent them my P06 from the old D series. And they sent me a VTEC and socketed P06 ECU, another P06. But it should have VTEC. I paid extra to get the VTEC. And it has the cutout for Honda, and it's already socketed for Honda as well. So let me flip the camera around. Let's take this top plate off because we have to basically just clip in the Honda. I don't know why they just didn't do that. You literally just have to take the board and press it down on the pins. Um, but let's take this and this and, you know. I like to be as transparent with you guys as possible. So, um... I am going to show you how much this charged me and keep in mind this is in Canadian. I paid $1,074 for an S300 V3. That's not at a deal, that's not at a hookup, that just is what it is. So uh, I got my little Honda board here and then I have the ECU. I'm just going to take off these five screws, boom, 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 boom and boom. Lift that off and then I'll show you what we're working with. Right here you can see is the cutout for the Honda, And then we have these new pins added. So it's sets of 14 and 14. Let's see if I can zoom in. So yeah, it's gonna be that strip, that strip. And then if we pan a bit to the left, these four right here. So those four, 14 and 14. And that's what the, need, the Honda really needs. So. You can see there, there's the little USB thing, so it's gonna go right that way, and we just have to drop it in. I'll show you guys. So be careful when you're holding these boards and computer parts of the sort. They have these little standoffs. They're a little bit fragile. It's just so it doesn't crush or anything when you put the lid back on, but always grab by the edges. Avoid touching any of the stuff that's up here on the front. And as you can see, like I was just showing you guys, you have the four pin here, and then the two 14 pins there that this is going to drop into the case just there like that. So I tried to film it, but I couldn't. It's actually a little bit more stubborn than one would think to get in, um, but it is in now. There's the Honda board there. And there is the USB to plug in a laptop. So now we finally have a Civic with a laptop. Only thing I need is to get a wideband and a laptop before I can put this in the car. Then we'll have to set base timing at 16 degrees, um, take out the stock O2 narrow band, replace it with a wide band, and let the Honda know that it's gonna be reading a wide band, configure that, uh, download the base map, yada, 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 and then get it tuned. But for now, we have a P06, and this ECU should have VTEC added. I told them that it's going into a B16 A3, and I paid the extra $50 to have the VTEC added, as well as the socket already cut out and pinned for a Honda to drop right into place. But here we have a P06 ECU with VTEC and a Honda S300 V3 installed, baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
Boys, today is the day. We're here with the Civic. We got the laptop and the Honda. You know what that means. Where's the new rig? It's a whole gaming laptop just to tune. Of course. Who do you think I am? Sheesh. First things first, gonna go ahead and start up the car with the stock ECU. Just make sure the battery isn't dead, the plugs aren't fouled from sitting through the winter. Thing hasn't been started in probably two months now, so let's try that first. Thank you, sir. Okay, so it has power. <laughs> it fires up, baby. Now let's put the Honda in it. See if it does the same thing. So here is the stock P30 ECU. Those two red wires are for VTEC that we have wired in. Um, so I just need to take out this one bolt right here and then I can remove this. And then I have to update the USB drivers in on data, upload the B16A base map, and then see if this thing fires up with it. So for now, I'm gonna undo that bolt, take out this ECU, and we'll pick it back up. Okay, the stock P30 ECU is out. That thing's out. We have the Honda ECU, time to plug it in and see if it's gonna work. Oh God, we got the laptop, Honda harness. Let's go. That's it, that was such a little click. But they're gonna today. Okay, so the Honda is in there to winter. Okay, so I need this. Okay, boys, time to plug in. Time to plug in to the spunk bubble. Since we have to update USB drivers before I plug it in, I'm just gonna hotspot it to my phone, so we'll be back when I'm done with that, boys. So basically, I'm going to plug in the USB now. Okay, that's plugged in. Honda is down there. This is what you do to test and see if the Honda works. You grab your key, you stick it in. Okay, it's priming and everything. So the Honda does work. Woohoo! Driver installed. <sighs> so we're gonna okay, we're gonna go over to new calibration, and we need stock P30 US. Civic Del Sol B16A stock USP P30. Hit that. Well, hit that again. Oh, you gotta click OK. OK, don't hit that again, you hit OK. OK, there's the P30 base map. Now, huh. I wonder why I can't upload it. Give me one sec here, boys. Not great news, it flashes green when you plug it in, but then it starts flashing red. I can't upload anything, so I don't know what to do. I'm gonna take this cover off and look at the board here. Okay, now that we have this back apart, I'm just gonna check over everything, make sure everything's on the pins, nothing's bent, and we'll go from there, I guess. All right, Honda is back out of the ECU. Oh my goodness. 2,000 years later. Okay, definition of I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. It's green now. Um, we're just gonna come up here to, where my mouse at though? We're gonna come up here to calibration. Stock P30 US. Okay, and then we can flash this to the ECU. Uploaded to the ECU. Ready for the first start? Woo! Oh, first start, first start. Ready? That was a fast ass upload. Does it? <laughs> I guess maybe, yeah. It's running off a of Honda, baby. Why is nothing changing here, though? RPMs not displayed. Oh. Holy shit. That's good. For a good sign. Is it still green? Yeah. Air intake temp. Negative 20 pounds of boost pressure. 
Uh, AFR is not going to read because it's not a wide band, it's a narrow band, so that don't make no sense. Let's go, baby! Okay, boys, so we enabled data logging. I set my TPS. We're still running off the stock narrow band 02. We're going to have to wire in a wide band and then come to closed loop and change those values. We're just going to run it to D14, which is the stock 02 sensor. But that's what we're looking at right now. It does smell a bit rich like fuel in here. This car hasn't been started in two months and it's on the best 91 that you can really get in town with Octane Booster. But it does smell really rich. It smells good though. Really fucking rich. Oh well. Let's hit, let's hit it. As you see we got that green light. Mission successful. Turn this off. And that's it, baby. That's it. So now that the car is running on Honda, we have some love to show for the Accord. As you guys know, we have a good tail light, another good matching tail light, a third good matching tail light, and what the hell is even going on with this? This thing's literally upside down. So after months of waiting, because they've been out of stock, we have the proper light. So let's twist this, put it in there. Bob's your uncle, let's go. Okay boys, we got the tail light switched around, everything's in, gotta put this phone back on, put it in the car. Go, 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 go. We got Christmas dinner to get to. Slide me in. Nope. Nope, not yet. Oh, what a freshie. Oh, what a fresh unit. Not yet. I don't know if this is supposed to be here. What? What? That's just because the thing got backed into it. Right? Oh! Seal it in there, brother. Ooh, she's a fresh hog. Got a little bit of a gap here. Actually, a huge fucking gap. Yeah. Did the other one have that? I thought the other one was like the too, so I'm not really sure. But like you said, it's a fact. The snow is gonna get right in there, though, isn't it? In it. Oh, okay, we're installed. Installed. It's closer. Boom, it matches finally. Hey. The Civic is running on a P30 base map on Honda. We're gonna have to go get it tuned and wire in a wideband and the Accord. All four taillights are matching. Successful day. Comment, like, subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Peace.